All right, I'm going to show you a few examples for the odd root property. In this type of problem, they're going to give you equations like this, y to the third equals 30. Now, anytime you have a variable raised to an exponential power equal to a number, you can um, undo this exponent by doing its inverse operation. So I want you to think about, remember how if I had an x squared, I would undo that by taking the square root of both sides? And that's the same idea here. To undo the, something raised to the third power, I take the third root of both sides. Now in this case, it, I don't look at plus or minus because if something's the third root, it's gonna, if it's positive, it will come, my answer will be positive. If it's negative, it will, my answer will be negative. Okay? And I'll explain that with my next example here. Okay, so when I take the cube root of y to the third, they undo each other. That leaves me with the y on the left side. And now I have the cube root of 30 on the right side. Now basically, remember, to take the cube root of 30, I need to look at this and say, okay, is there any number multiplied by itself three times that gives me 30? The answer is no. You can always break it down, you know, 3 times 10, 10 is 2 times 5. There's not three of the same number multiplied together, so it can't be simplified. And that's simply my answer. Y equals the cube root of 30. Okay, now if I have something like u to the third equals a negative 19, I do the same process. I take the third root of both sides. Okay, so this is going to give me u equals um, the third root of a negative 19. Now I want you to think about this value inside of the third root here. A negative, I can think of this as a negative 1 times a negative 1 times a negative 1 times 19. So there's, I can think of it as having three negative 1s and they'll come out of the cube root as one negative 1. And I can simplify that. We write this negative 1 times the third root of 19 as a negative cube root of 19. Okay, so when you see that negative and this is an odd root, you can pull that negative out of the root. Okay, so let's just look at a couple other examples. Maybe um, x to the third equals 25. And how about um, y to the third equals a negative um, 7. Now we can solve both of these, so we ta start with the top problem here. Remember we take the cube root of both sides and we get x equals the cube root of 25. And 25 is just 5 times 5, so that cannot be simplified any further, and so that's the answer. So we do the same thing for y cubed equals a negative 7. We take the cube root of both sides. And remember, remember that when we have a negative inside of the root, we can pull that out as a negative on the outside of the root. You cannot simplify the 7, so your answer is just simply y equals a negative square root, oh, excuse me, negative cube root of 7.